know what? Ah, fuck me. I got this for you right now. You think the hood's coming off? The hood ain't coming off. I I am basking in comfort. If it's one thing about this quarantine that's hit me squ square between the eyes, it's I'm basking in comfort. I'm like Hugh Hefner now. This man was a genius beyond his time. You understand? Walking around in a bathrobe all day? Are you kidding me? My God. How did Hugh Hefner die? It wasn't cancer. Uh, you never saw a happier pair of balls than balls swinging underneath a bathrobe. Come on. No, we jam them into underwear, then we squeeze them into jeans. Wrapping a belt around everything. Come on! I got, I, 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 got, I got my pajamas on, okay? Officer, Officer Pajamas Callahan here today, all right? Great, I, I don't have to wear the piece that'll eventually fall right onto my foot, all right? There we go. Reporting for duty. And we're scanning for crimes. Oh, tell me again that it's it's not a police scanner. I get it, okay? We got everybody out there in Genius Town. I, you know what? I'm, I'm not taking off the the hood because I'm down to my my last three strands of hair, okay? On the top of my head from you guys stressing me the fuck out. Oh my god. I'm, doing, I'm painting another jacket. Okay? Because the, the, the first one damn near killed me. I was so stressed out. I, it's, it's hard to paint while hair is falling out of your head in front of your eyes. I broke my ass on the, on the last jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to about 4,000 views. That's fantastic. I got news for you right now. Go on YouTube and look up custom... Custom painted uh, denim jacket. Go see what you see. Oh my God! There's people. There's, there's people. The more aggravating the video is, the more views it has. There's a uh, there's a couple painting a jacket together. It came out like like horrendous dog shit. It's got like a million views. Oh my gosh! What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? And then to top it all off, I get in the comment section below. Hey man, you could sell that jacket for like a hundred dollars. Oh really? Well, thank you very much. Number one, the jacket costs thirty-five dollars plus tax. Thirty-five ninety-nine plus tax. We're into forty-dollar range. I used at least minimum ten dollars worth of acrylic paint. Yeah, almost a whole tube of black on the back itself. Then if I'm going to ship it to you, that's another minimum $10. I don't know if you shipped anything lately. It's outrageously expensive to ship. So what are we up to now? $40, $50, $60? I get to make $40 for my troubles. Yeah. It took me nine hours to paint the jacket! I'm going to do the math here. Forty dollars. Nine. Divided by nine. Zip tags. It's less than five dollars an hour! That's why I'm all about just like wearing my pajamas and forgetting about the world, drowning myself in alcohol. You ever see these slippers that these young kids wear? You know, these like Adidas, like slip on slippers. You see all the millennials running around with these slippers on. Like texting on their phone, like these these slippers reek of entitlement. Like I don't even have to 
to put on shoes. I don't have to get dressed. I don't give a fuck about anybody. Okay? I'll come out of my house with slippers and socks on. Like a fucking horrendous nightmare of a person. And, you, and, and I'll text on my phone and I'll bump into you at the same time. And then go, oh, sorry, dude. All right, do you understand who I'm talking about here? Anyway. Rewind Christmas time. I get a, this, this gift from my sister-in-law. It's the very slippers that I despise. You understand? I open up the box. I open up the box. I get the bolt of chilled lightning down my my spine, and I break out into a cold sweat. Like, oh man, how am I gonna fake this one? So I'm like, oh geez, uh, thanks for the slippers. I can't slam the lid on the box fast enough. Thanks for the slippers. Uh, I really uh, appreciate it. <laughs> you can't fake it, man. You ever give somebody a gift? You can't fucking fake it. If you don't like it. It's impossible to fake. It's be you're better off just being quiet, like, you know, finishing your drink and doing the old Irish goodbye. Get in my car and just slam the box underneath the seat and forget I ever got it. Anyhow, I get home. You know how you got to unload the, all the gifts from the, the car? I take the box, I chuck it in the closet. I forget about it. Three o'clock in the fucking morning. Then one day my wife's bitching to me. Yeah, E444, you're calling fire from the signal 16. Adult male 6, 68 Jefferson Avenue between Liberty Street and Oak Street. I, I, I can't imagine what he might have! I hope they're out of ventilators. All right. So one one day, my wife, my wife, she, I can't remember when to take the garbage cans down the end of the driveway. Okay, buddies. All right. I I, I eliminate these thoughts from my head. Do you understand? There's certain thoughts that I eliminate from my head, and they're all the most important ones. You gotta take the trash cans down to the end of the driveway. It's always 10 o'clock at night. 10.30. I'm like, mother fuck. I'm walking out. I, I Now I gotta put my sneakers on. You understand this is an ordeal. Or I gotta slip my feet into my sneakers so I look like I'm wearing fucking high heels. I'm walking past the closet. And out of the corner of my eye, I see the fucking box. I'm like, you know what? Nobody's looking. I slide these babies on and I'm like, it was like, it was like turning into like a superhero. It was like turning into super lazy man. I slipped them on and it was like, like a magic cloud went over me. Ring. I went, oh, wait a second here. I walk outside. I take, I take the garbage cans to the end of the driveway. I mean, it was like I was dancing the West Side Story. Oh, my God. Only in America, land of opportunity. I'm dancing down the end of the driveway with the fucking trash cans in tow. I'm like giggling and dancing all the way back to the, the fucking sliding glass door. I get inside the house. I step on the mat. I fucking kick them off in nanoseconds flat. Then I could walk on the floor again. Could you imagine? I said, my God, sweet mystery of life, at last I have found you. That's what it was like. Because my wife, I don't know, I'll be walking I like I do the right thing. I took a shower. And then I'm walking, and she'll say to me, babe, are you walking on the floor? And I'm like, how long? What? Yeah, I'm walking on the floor. Do you see the floor? How disgusting it is? I looked down. I looked down. I, don't, I didn't think our floors had time to be disgusting. 
You you you're wasting the mop over it every five seconds. I'm I'm looking. I don't see anything. These floors are disgusting, and you're walking around in your bare feet, and then you're gonna sit on the, you're gonna lay down on the couch, and you're gonna lay down in in the bed. I was like, let me explain something to you. This is the magical thing about feet. Okay, this is something that God, I think, programmed in us, just so women can shut their trap. When I lay down on the couch, my feet go up like this. They don't touch the couch. I don't know anybody that ever laid in bed and the bottoms of their feet touch the bed. I lay on the couch, the bottom of my feet don't touch the couch. I'm not double jointed. So I try to beat this logic into a head. Silence bell. Yeah. Silence bell. But what do I come out of it? I got my Adidas slippers now. Okay, I, I I'm, I'm wearing them to the Home Depot. I'm going out to the grocery store. You gotta understand something, guys. It's just not a fuck given. There's just not a fuck given with these girls on. I'm wearing them to the next wedding I go to. I'm sorry, I'm tuning out. Will you throw me out of your stinking wedding? I don't want to be there anyway. Fuck you. Already. Fuck you already. And your wedding. Your inconvenient wedding. Of unco uncomfortable clothes. Uncomfortable footwear. Your in fuck you. And your inconvenient wedding. And I got to dish out cash. And hopefully I get so loaded. That I throw up all over something. Got a cap gun for my Adidas slippers. Roll the same song, will ya? Let's get it going over here. Get it going. Will you please, for once in my life? Can we have sex for the sport of it? The sport of it. Can we have sex for the sport? Can we have sex for the sport of it? The sport of it. Just to bring your game to my What are you talking about? Can we have sex for the sport of it? The sport of it. Can we have sex for the sport of it? Get out of here. Get out of here. Do you understand? Do you understand what I do for this show? I bring this beautiful Duo RX out into this maelstrom of rain. I mean, you understand? One slip and fall could snap off the the, the RCA jack in the back, and I mean, I just like drown in a pool of my own tears. Do you get that? Maybe not. Today we're going to talk about your top 10 PC Engine games. That's right. We talked about G G uh, G Keisha Boy last time. Fantastic game. I completely get it. I'm in. Today we're going to talk about a game that puzzles me a bit. It comes off to rave reviews. People go nuts for it. You find it in everybody's top 10 PC Engine gaming list. Yes. And that game is... Golama Speed. A game by UTF. Now, this is a this is a very mysterious game. There's a lot of information about Go Golama Speed out there. A lot of it, a lot of it fact, a lot of it fiction. Well, let me break it down for you right now. It's the game of Snake. Okay? It's a it's a more advanced game of Snake. And I guess you start off as the head of the snake, and you can collect 
other pieces of your snake to make your snake longer. And basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to surround these orange pellets with your snake character and avoid enemies. Because if an, uh, an enemy hits your snake anywhere along the snake and break your snake apart, and then you have to recollect and connect the pieces together again to make your snake as long as possible. I mean, Caius, isn't that what we're all, we're all trying to do in life anyhow? Right, right. Here's my problem with this game. It's fucking hard. Okay? It's really... I, I find it difficult. Here's the deal. You have to take your snake and you have to wrap your snake around these orange pellets... The problem is you can shear the skin off your thumb doing this on a fucking directional pad. This is something that has to be done on an analog stick. This is a perfect game for a PlayStation, uh, PlayStation controller. Yes. But to do it with a direction pad, it's a nightmare on wheels. Okay, am I going to think? Okay. Uh. Okay. Picture, picture time. dust is getting on the fucking TV screen. I mean, what's going down the lungs? Who's in? I'm in. And by the way, that was probably the most physical effort I'll do all day today. Alright. Let's go. You know we're gonna pipe you into the stereo. Oh, I gotta go back in the fucking house. That's terrific. <sighs> yeah. Uh, the, thing, the things I do for the show, you have no idea. Here we go. That's it, I go in to wake the dead just to get these connectors for you. Are you kidding me? Here we go. Plug this in here. Plug this in here. Plug this in here, and then we do it the right way, buddies. We do it the right way. Oh yeah. Okay. Turn this off. Yes. Turn this off. Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going back to 19... Was this 90? 91, perhaps? Let's see. position. There you go. There we are. Golem of Speed. UFL. Company Unlimited. Hmm. 1990, buddies. Oh, yeah. 1990. I was in the ninth grade. <laughs> Here we go. Act one. See, the music very pleasing. Okay, they're giving you the little tutorial here. Here we are. Let's build up our snake. Okay, here's the guy we're trying to avoid. We have mines. We can drop a mine on him. Kind of odd that he's attracted to mines, but okay. 
There you go. You surround the, the orange ball, you pick it up. Look at this. I'm making it look easy. To trust me, this isn't as easy as it looks. There we go. We got another one. If you're really good, you can get two. Oh, shit. He can break up your snake. Come on, asshole. Jesus. Get your pieces back. He's stunned. Okay. No! Come on. Come on. How much more do you want me to surround it? This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes it gives you a hard time. And that's unacceptable. I'm here. Okay. We got all the pellets. The exit opens. This... Wh why? For some reason this game reminds me a lot of Gauntlet. And I guess... Okay. Hold on. Let's build up our snake. Yes. Yes. You know, it's fun building your snake. It is. You get a, a, tre a treasure there. You get a key here. This reminds me of Gauntlet. You have a doorway here, but hold on a second. Okay. Let's get these. You have two options here. We get all the pellets. See what I mean? I'm surrounding that thing. What is the problem? Because okay. a lot of times, there's a lot of enemies on the board. So it's like... This should, this should, we shouldn't have an issue here. All right, we get this pellet here, and the exit opens. So the question is, you have a key, you can open this door, or do you have, or do you go through the exit? Choose your own adventure, right? Use the key. Why not? You get in here. Oh. Ah. 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 All right, I'm obviously in hell now. Okay, come on. Collect your snake and get out of dodge. Oh, shit! That's great. I don't have a key to get in there. How the fuck are you supposed to get in there, then? Hold on a second here. Ah! You can go over here. Ah. Fuck. Okay, oh, we opened that already. Maybe we can grenade that. Yeah, it's all, look at, look at us. Look at us. And what is there, a key, another key over here. I'm in. this guy gonna do? Come on, buddy. Ah! We got that potion thing. I don't know what that does. Ah! Oh, get out of here! Okay. All right. We get this, and then we're out of here. Oh, jeez. He's back. Okay. Whoa! Shit. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Act three. All right, this is a bit different. Now we can open up sections of the board. Oh, jeez. The section with the enemy. Bitch. Oh. Oh, we got him! That was big points right there. Alright, not bad. That's a 
catchy tune. Ah! Alright. Son of a bitch. So right now we're looking for the exit door. What's that thing? What is that thing? Whoa! Alright, so we have this one up here that's really hard to get. Oh, jeez. Another one up. Oh, fuck! Alright, let's get it together. Get it together, get it! Oh! Alright, here we go. Ah! Suck on that, bitch. Oh, come on! <sighs> oh, game over. I guess that's your command, your password. Uh, you know what? Continue? Wait, all right, yeah, a little more? I'm in. That was fucking cheap. Come on, let's face it. Get away from that asshole. Yeah, like this one up, it's like impossible to get. Oh! What is popcorn? All right, we've lost. We've lost command of the Starship Enterprise. I don't know what the fuck is going on now. <laughs> I don't know what these things. Come on! Get off my ass already! Let's get this one up, huh? Come on! Oh, yeah! Come on! We're on fire! Trap him! Bastard. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Alright, let's worry about uncovering this board. Christ! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it, this is... Okay, we gotta get our snake back together here. This is ridiculous. Oh, come on. Do I gotta restart this? <laughs> I wish I could have got you into the later levels where it turns more into an actual game. <laughs> we actually got to progress through like enemies and stuff like that. And it kind of, not scrolling, but you can move around almost like a gauntlet. But uh, I'm, I'm racking my brain over here. I'm going to hear that song all morning now. Like my alarm clock radio went off. You know what? Guys, you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization.
And you better believe that. With a 4K face! We'll see you next time.